everyone, it's Jessica here with another cherry challenge. This month, a few of my scrappy friends and I are playing along with our own challenge, which is the sketch from Scrap Timber Facebook group. And we are also adding a little twist to our challenge, which is to use a monochromatic theme. So today I have chosen a black background paper by 49 and Market, and I just added some gold yeah. shimmer spray just with some splattering on the background and then I've also added some green in um, a Shimmers Vibes color. So I've got both of those already on my background at this point. They're drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and start matting my photos here with some smooth white cardstock and then some of my favorite background paper, which is this black and white stripe, also by 49 and Market. It is my absolute favorite. You guys have seen me use it before. I just love to back my photos with it. I just think it makes them pop and makes them look so cute. So uh, that's my favorite paper. So I am just distressing the edges of them and I'm going to stick really close to that sketch using the one larger photo and then the one smaller one and I'm going to line them up the same way as the sketch. So the sketch design had some mixed media in the background. I'm actually not going to do that other than my splatters. I really wanted to use a black background paper to make this layout pop so I have chosen a tropical leaves cut file. I think it's called um build a rainforest by pear tree cut files so i've chosen that one and i've cut out a bunch of leaves a couple times and i think i cut them all like three times total and um i just cut one mat i think they kind of overflowed onto two mats but i only cut one mat's worth but um i cut a whole bunch of these leaves i am backing some of them as you saw there how i manually back my cut file by gluing it on with some nouveau glue and then cutting out around it i'm leaving some not backed i'm using the middles that i've cut out because i've cut them out of a 49 and market green shade background paper and it was a lighter color on one side and a darker green on this other side here as you can see so I'm using both sides of these leaves so some of them I'm backing some I'm using the negative middles and some I'm just leaving the outline as is so I'm just kind of creating a bunch of dimension here and build these all around my photos in where that mixed media was in the sketch design. So that's kind of where I'm coming up with my shape as far as where I'm putting all of my leaves. And I'm just gonna stagger them all about, just kind of sprinkle them in like a bunch of love. And then I'll layer up some more embellishments on top and I'll probably add some more splatters back in because I see that I'm covering up a lot of my splatters that I initially did, but that's okay because I wanted some kind of underneath peeking out but I also wanted some on top so no worries I'm gonna start gluing all these down with my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive I know it's gonna dry clear so I don't have to worry about any of it peeking out or seeping through and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue all these so I'm just tucking them in here and there kind of fluffing them up and just tucking them in wherever they look good it's, there's no rhyme or reason really other than the fact that I'm sticking to that sketch shape where that mix me media is so I'm kind of flaring them out at the top and the bottom towards the uh, towards the right there on both of those edges and I'm just building this up I'm going to add my big title here at the top and kind of overflow it along the right side because I want to do a little bit of a long title but it's more so big than it is long I guess but I want to grab an acrylic piece from my stash to use and it's kind of a big one. It's by Bella Boulevard. So we'll see that here in a second. I'm just gonna finish up gluing all of these down. I'm actually gonna grab the sticker book. This is the, I believe it's called Into the Wild Collection by Simple Stories. It's one of my favorite zoo collections because it's not all like super cutesy and I really enjoy the colors in this collection. I like a more kind of muted with greens and oranges in my zoo collections so that's what i'm using today this is a zoo layout if you haven't figured that out i um i the sketch kind of inspired me with the little animals and it made me instantly think of my zoo pictures that i have so that's what i'm scrapping today i'm scrapping um when we first walked in when my son was posing for a picture with my husband and my other boy which is in the smaller photo would not stand with them and get a nice photo he was just like having a day and not wanting to get photos that early in the morning. So I put a picture of him right beside it while he was exploring the park. So 
he's still in there. Um, I had my baby girl with us as well. And of course myself, I was taking the photo. So here's that large acrylic piece that I was telling you about. It's by Bella Boulevard. It's been in my stash for a long time. So super excited to use that today. I have pulled out this wild sticker from my stash. Um, I can't, honestly, I can't even remember where that is from, but I've had it in my stash for a long time. And then I'm just pulling out some of these gold little alphas by Pebbles. So they're hard to see on this video, but you can actually see them really well whenever you're holding the layout in your hands and see and seeing it right in front of you. But I don't know, for some reason on the screen here, it's really hard to see those letters. But I'm going to pop up the wild and that's going to be my title, Explore the Wild. I thought it was just pretty appropriate because my boys were just running around like little crazy people and they were truly exploring all that the zoo has to offer and they were being just wild and crazy just like the animals so I thought that title was just perfect for this layout again adding some of these splatters back in just to give my leaves some texture and dimension and then I've got a little epoxy flare that I'm going to pop down right here that's by Scrap and Happy Studio of course I'm going to create my glue dot sandwich in a moment here with some thread behind that epoxy flare and I'm going to grab a couple things out of this sticker book. Simple Stories makes the most um, amazing sticker books. I absolutely love them. You guys have heard me talk about them before I'm sure and I just love them. They come jam-packed with just so many things to use on your layouts and I adore them and they're just so cute. They come with the perfect things. They're my style. They have these little tabs in them. They usually have some alphas, some wordy bits like this. They have some stickers uh, that you can embellish with. And these little word phrases are one of my favorite things to add to my layouts. I just love staggering these around. And this little zoo book is just perfect for this layout. So I've grabbed a few phrases here. They've also got this sheet in colored phrases. And I thought this Hakuna Matata one was just perfect for my son because he was posing near the lions. And that was just perfect for this photo. And then all these cute little tropical leaves to go along with my little rainforest leaf theme that I have going on as well. It's just, it all comes together so easily and perfectly. And I love this little monkey. I They don't really, they have monkeys there, I guess, but we don't really ever take pictures of them because they just, they move around so much and um, it's kind of dark in that area of the zoo. It's inside in the habitat. So we just, I just usually don't take a lot of pictures in there. So, um, yeah, I thought that would be perfect to use on this. And I also call my, uh, younger son, my little monkey man. So I thought that was pretty appropriate to use on this layout. And then this little lizard guy, have you guys seen that new movie, uh, called Leo? I think it's called Leo with Adam Sandler as the voice. It is so cute. I, we just watched it the other day with, uh, with my kids and it is the cutest movie. I just loved it. So I've got some other little leaves here I'm tucking in and here's my glue dot sandwich coming in with some of my um, medium sized glue dots. I am putting one on the epoxy and then I put my thread twiddled in behind there and then I put another glue dot or two to secure it down to my layout. That's pretty much the best way that I have found to secure those and they stay put for a very, very long time. I've got a little tab here. This one's actually by Ellie's and I've just stamped my roller date stamp by Peach Evans on there to put my date at the bottom. So that is it. And this is the finished layout. If you guys want to play along with this challenge, I will link that challenge board below for you so you can post yours as well. Again, it is a sketch from Scrap Timber and a monochromatic theme as well. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.